If someone tells you you can't, they're showing their limits, not yours. That's my morning voice. Here are two scenarios between the pathological thinker and the critical thinker. So let's say that you are holding a dinner party and you've invited Sally. Sally ends up being 30 minutes late to the party. The pathological thinker would think, oh, Sally is late because she's rude. Or Sally is late because she doesn't like me. The pathological thinker doesn't look at the data. Data is what could be recorded on the video camera. The critical thinker thinks with raw data. Critical thinker would think, oh, Sally's late, maybe she's in traffic. Maybe she woke up late because her alarm didn't go off. Maybe an emergency came up and she had to take care of that first. So I just want you to take these examples of what the pathological thinker would think and what the critical thinker would think and gauge those emotions, how you feel. If you're thinking, oh, Sally was late because she's rude, well, how do you feel inside? It's not a very positive emotion, but if you think, like critical thinker, oh, Sally was late because there's traffic, well, it's a much calmer feeling inside. It's not about you. She isn't being rude to you because she's not liking you. It's usually just something in the real world that happened because the world doesn't revolve around you. Actually, the world revolves around the sun. So next time something that feels negative to you or triggers you comes up, practice this exercise of being a critical thinker. Use your critical thinking and think of the most likely logical solution that has nothing to do with you. People don't think about you they're just thinking about themselves. We're all a little bit selfish that way, but if you can be sure that it isn't always about you, well, you're gonna feel a lot less pain. Someone very well known said, to the ones that are not doing it, please don't interrupt the ones who are doing it. It's true, if you're not doing it, don't go to someone who's doing it and interrupt them. They need to focus on doing it. And go. This is my workout coach. How's it going? We're getting it in today. I'm sweating. It works. Putting <laughs> in the work. I like it. So far, I'm very happy with the videos I've made these past few days, and I've kept a streak up for about a week. So pretty much, I just want to keep that streak and that good energy going, keep on making videos. And by the way, my engagement levels are very high. That means people are watching my videos all the way through. So this is all really good, good, good stuff. Essentially, the goal of this channel is for me to master storytelling, become the best storyteller I possibly can be, until one day I can make the most epic, awesome movie of all time. Peace. Talent comes everywhere. Everybody's talented. But fucking everybody in this bar is talented in one thing or another, but having something to say and a way to say it so people listen to it. That's a whole other bag. And unless you get out there and you try to do it, you'll never know.